Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Dovathiri and welcome to my thoughts on Season 2, Episode 2 on Hell of a Boss. First things first, what did I think about the episode? Well, you, some of you may recall that I did make a community post, a poll, to rate the episode. And I did the ratings of A, B, C, D, and F. Most people chose A, as, as expected. However, how would I rate it? What did I rate it? And let me tell you, there are a couple of ways that I could rate the episode. I could rate it as a standalone episode or... I could rate it as an episode in comparison to all the previous episodes. And that is how I will be rating it. So what is my rating? Well, I'm just going to straight up tell you. It's a D. That's not good. Now, now in case you're curious, how would I rate it as a standalone? I would rate it as a B. So, there are standards that all the previous episodes had that this episode, I believe, did not reach. And in this video, I will be going through all the points that I thought made the episode good and all the points that I thought made the episode not bad, but worse than all the others. First things first is the comedy. What did I think about the comedy? I thought it was great. I know that there are some people who did have some complaints about it. Some jokes being too long. You know, I just personally thought they were all great. I don't have any complaints with them. You know, there are quite a few jokes that I thought was funny, like the Moxie fat joke, which was a callback to the pilot and uh, episode four cherubs, where they do that joke. It's a running gag at this point. And another big one that I'm sure everybody noticed is the Brandon Ragers joke. I thought that one was quite funny. You know, putting Brandon Rogers, the voice of Blitzo, oh, silent, into the show. I thought that was pretty funny. However, when it comes to the story, I felt a little bit disappointed in it. For the first season, there isn't really much story going on, but what I felt from the first season is that it's more like a setup of the world and the characters. So for the second season, I was expecting to have a lot of story. And for the first episode of season two, I did get that. We did. Uh, it was actually really good. I really enjoyed the previous episode, Season 2, Episode 1. However, in this one, I just felt like there wasn't enough. And, you know, that's just personally me. Some people enjoy the aspect of it having a majority comedy, which I know this is the, meant to be the more silly, more comedic uh, show, while has been worked. Hotel is the more serious one. I was just kind of hoping that there would be more story in the second season than the first. But it is still too early to confirm that there is going to be about the same amount as the first season. So really, that's my only complaint about the story, really. You know... We're just going to have to sit and wait for the rest, for uh, 
the rest of the episodes and then make a judgment call. But now on to the animation, the art in animation. Now, if so, some of you may know this, some of you may not, so I'll discuss it anyway. Uh, for the production of Hell of a Boss, for every episode, Vivsy Pop is constantly hiring new artists, new animators, all of that stuff. Yet, throughout every episode, you don't notice any deviation from the classic Vivsy Pop art style and animation style, which I really enjoy. However, in this episode, as you can see on the screen, this is a slightly different art style. And the animation, I guess, I'm not sure if it's the same or not, but the art style definitely throws it off. And this is the first time, well, I don't know if it's the first time where we've seen this big of a deviation from the original art style or if we just never noticed it until now since it's really in our face with this and this is a big complaint that a lot of people have it's a complaint that I have and you know it's really disappointing because even though Vince Pop is constantly hiring new artists and animators, the art style and animation has always been relatively the classic Vince Pop style. But now in this episode, you get scenes that don't look like the other scenes. And I just think that's really weird, really off-putting, and it takes away... From at least my overall experience, when I was watching the episode, I just felt off watching it. It just, it couldn't quite uh, take me into the episode where I'm really enjoying it, focusing on it, nothing else matters. However, while watching it, just in my head, I just kept on thinking, this does not look right and this is the reason why it's actually yeah this is the reason why and it's just kind of just a little bit disappointing I just I want to know why this happened but you know I'm not a part of that crew who's actually working on so, so I wouldn't know until they actually say something. If they have, I haven't heard any news of it. So, maybe we'll get some answers. Maybe not. Maybe we've already have, and I just live under a rock. But, we'll see. And now we move on to the pacing of the episode. This is the biggest complaint that I've seen besides the controversy of gay characters um, when the when Hello Boss and Hasman Hotel first started ever since then this is the biggest like just complaint about Hell of a Boss that I've seen and it's because there are scenes that should be short but they're longer, scenes that should be longer, but they're short, and it really takes you out of the experience. Um, I completely agree with this. The pacing was completely off. It didn't feel right. It wasn't comfortable, wasn't enjoyable, and it really sucks that this is the case because there are some really, really good scenes in this episode. Um, there's definitely one scene in particular that I'll discuss a little bit later that is one of my favorite scenes in the show by far, yet is 
in the episode that I personally think is the worst one by far. And it's such a major contrast. And something else that has a little bit to do with the pacing is Millie and Moxie. I just felt like that they were put into the show to, or not to show the episode, too much. They just felt like they were put into the episode just to have them there and not to really have a point. Because most of their screen, screen time, they just don't make sense being there. There's just scenes where it's like, why is this here? Why are we seeing them? We're supposed to be watching the other characters and not Millie and Moxie. And then in the episode, they just start singing. And we've had a couple songs with them. One was in the pilot. Um, I felt that one was alright because it's setting up. Hey, these characters like to sing. And then in uh, Season 1, Episode 7, uh, Moxie is singing at Ozzy's. And that one made sense. You know, it kind of made sense. It's him showing his love. Um, and they're showing the contrast between love and lust. But in this episode, there wasn't any real point in them singing. And I just feel like they could have at least either taken away some of their screen time. Or changed, you know, how they interacted in the episode because I just felt like there was no point in quite a few scenes that they were in just being in the episode. Now one of my favorite parts about the episode is seeing a bit of Luna's backstory but then once again I have to turn it into a complaint because again with the pacing there just wasn't enough of it. There was so little that it just, you know, I wanted, I wanted a little bit more. Just a little bit more of Luna's backstory with Blitzo. You know, I would have really enjoyed seeing more of that. But at least we got to see some of that and learn... You know, what place she was in and a bit of some reasoning why she acts the way she does. Because now it makes a little bit more sense. Um, you know, it's just really good to see that. But I wish, I really wish we could have seen a little bit more. And that's really all I have to say about it. So, to recap some of my points, you know, I thought the comedy was great, the story, I wish there could have been more, the animation is inconsistent, the pacing is all backwards, um, Millie and Moxie just in there too much, or not in there in just a good way and you know Luna's backstory was just good I just wanted some more personally but I feel like what really helped with or worsened my experience is the fact that um, I did see uh, Brian and Rogers you know, just talking about how good the episode was going to be. Because, like, a few days before he was talking about it, he said it was his favorite episode. He said that he really enjoyed it. And so, I was just sitting there thinking, oh, this is going to be a really, really good episode. And then, 
I watch it and it just did not live up to that hype. I feel like if I never saw Brandon Rogers talking about uh, him seeing the episode, I feel like I wouldn't have as worse of an experience. And maybe my rating would have been like a C. But I did hear him talk about it. And so I just really thought that it was going to be really, really good. And it did not live up to the expectations that I had because my expectations were raised. I already had high expectations as it's a hell of a boss episode. You know, each episode's really good. But then it got even higher because Brain Rogers was hyping it up. And it fell quite short of my expectations. You know, and that's just a little bit disappointing, but it is what it is. You know, people hype things up all the time. Um, video game companies do it all the time as well, and usually they don't meet your expectations, let's be honest. They hype things up, tell you how awesome it is, and then it falls quite short. You know, I mean, that's kind of a, a common occurrence. Now, a little bit about my favorite part of the episode. One of my most favorite scenes in the entire show. The talk with Luna and Octavia. I really, really enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It is without a doubt. My favorite part of the episode. Um, I really enjoyed that they finally, you know, get to meet and talk. And I really enjoyed that they're uh, talking about, you know, their experience with their dads, uh, Blitzo and Stolas. You know... I just really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was absolutely amazing. It brought tears to my eyes. Uh, ju I just enjoyed it. I mean, it, it was great. It was very wholesome. It was well animated. All the shadows and lighting was just amazing. Everything was beautiful about it. Just everything was beautiful, but I, I want to know who drew it, animated it, did all the colors, shading, lighting, all of that. Because it was beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. You know, the talk was wonderful, and then just the look of it was also amazing. It was just absolutely amazing cannot express how just how amazing I thought it was and I'd like to know what did you guys think about that talk or what was your favorite part of the episode comment down below let me hear your thoughts let me hear what what your favorite part of the episode was what you thought about the Luna and and, excuse me, Luna and Octavia talk. Wow, that's a tongue twister. Overall, I just kind of thought that my experience with the episode was just, in one word, disappointing. You know, it fell short of expectations. There were things that were just all out of whack. You know, everything is just not how it is in the, all the other previous episodes. And I personally think that makes it worse. And yeah, it was, it was just a disappointing experience. Um, that's really all I have to say about my experience. I mean, 
without a doubt, it's a good episode. Like, there's no doubting that. But even though I do think it's good, it was also disappointing to me. However, despite my disappointment and despite the fact that I personally think that this is the worst episode by far, I am hoping that this was just a bit of a slip, you know, they tripped over and fell, but they'll get back up. Um, I'm hoping that the next episode will be back up to the quality that really everyone expects from Hell of a Boss, you know, at the same quality of all the previous episodes, and that's kind of what I'm hoping for for the future. Um, I thought that this episode, uh, before it was announced that this was going to be Season 2, Episode 2, I thought it was going to be the final episode of Season 1, which it was quite surprising that it wasn't. So, I am hoping that we will finally be able to see the closure of season one so we can have a proper season two um because i would prefer to have a season one episode eight finale than a season two episode three but i guess we'll see in the future in like two to three months more than likely that's it's usually how they're releasing it two to three months part yeah, about two to three months. I really do want to see what they have in store for the final episode of the first season, because I am quite curious. With the way season two started and season one, well, season one almost ending, um... It's really hard to get an idea of what the finale will be. So I am looking forward to that finale and seeing what it is. Because I don't really have much of a clue. I can't really theorize anything. Uh, it's just really eluding me. So yeah, I'm quite, quite curious. You know, I do kind of, we, I mean, if you're paying attention to any news and stuff like that, you can get a kind of an idea of what we'll be expecting for the third episode of season two. Um, if you have any idea of what uh, the final episode of season one is going to be, then comment down below. I'd like to hear everyone's ideas on it. Because I don't really have any, and I'm usually good at theorizing stuff, so yeah. Very, very curious. Now that concludes my thoughts and my review of Season 2, Episode 2 of Hell of a Boss. Now before I finish off this video like to talk to you guys about what I plan on the future of this channel. I plan on separating my content into different channels as to, you know, better put myself into the algorithm because I feel like I need to just narrow things down. I plan on expanding my content at the same time as splitting it up as well. So I'm going to have several channels. Um, this one is going to remain my main channel. However, at the moment and in the near future, it's going to remain almost exclusively has been Hotel and Hell of a Boss content. I do plan on making more has been hotel and hello boss videos but i'm going to prioritize creating shorts 
The reason being is that I am a quarter of the way there to hitting the 10 million views in 19 days that are required to get into the YouTube partnership program. And I'd really like to, you know, I really want to hit that number. So I will be focusing more on that than doing videos. But after I hit it, I will still be doing shorts. But then I will also be producing more videos. You know, hopefully make some money. You know, that would be very nice to make some money on this channel. In case you're wondering, almost all money made from the channel, whether it be subscriptions, donations, um, ad revenue, um, merch purchases, just about every single penny will go straight back into the channel to improve my content. Because, I'm going to be honest, I'm not very good at making thumbnails or editing videos, you know, stuff like that. And I would really like to actually hire someone to do that stuff. So that way I can greatly improve the quality of my content. So look forward to that stuff in the future. And make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and keep an eye out for more of my content. Because you should be watching it. Be seeing you all next time.